Pull a style, miss, group a jacky group. Catch your style, where the maddie shit is sick. Coming like God, this the fingertip still. Boss a key and roll here, shots still a group. You know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out with insane Here could a shot still catch it and no feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it details Style sick you know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out with insane Here could a shot still catch it and no feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it details Check it details Look how the key and roll need Grip game Look how the part in straight Grip game Check your style insane Where you know a grip game Me a tell you that Make your appointment and book your slot quick If you hear too short, you will make it grow quick Get a year treatment for a good price fit I'm all a lot Style sick, you know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out insane Here could a shot still catch it and no feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it details Style sick, you know a grip game So what's going on? Like, I haven't seen you for such a long time. When did you last come to the shop? Was that uh, three, three weeks that ago? That was when I, wait, was that the last time you saw you? That's, that's, that's the last time I saw you when in you January, came to the shop. When I came back from Ghana, when I was- In like, January. Yeah. Was, would you say like, like four, four weeks, five weeks? Um, my hair's been in for a month. You left it in for a month? Over a month. Like a month and a couple of days. Yeah. Okay. Because today's March the 1st. Yeah. And I was in America. It just feel fair. like a long time since I've seen you. Yeah, it's a month. And then before that, I didn't see you for a long time. Yeah, like a From month, before month. Christmas. Yeah. Oh, and you just yeah. come to the shop and see me that quick. One hour. Just feels like forever. I feel like I haven't seen you for months. And I didn't get, I didn't post that last video. I should have. I haven't. Well, I just feel like I've had um, so many tutorials. I have two tutorials with you already. Mm. With that six stitch braid style. And I just feel like people want to see something oh, okay. different. So today we're doing the same six stitch braids, but just with a little zigzag twist on the east side for your big event. What event is it? Oh, it's the Brit Awards. Oh, you're going to the Brit Awards. Mm. Yay. So where did you go this time? Um, I went to LA. You went to where? LA. LA, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You were there all this time? Yeah, well, I got back like two weeks ago. Oh, okay. But I had no reason to do my hair, so I just left it. <laughs> yeah, you're not going anywhere, like, what's the point? Just let it grow, and yeah. it, has, it has grown. It's grown a lot. Yeah, and remember, like, normally I'm not good at keeping them in. Yeah. So the fact that it was good and I was like, let me just leave it until I leave need to do it. Again. Yeah. That's why I said I texted you today because I wanted you to see it because I, I thought you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> that, that I, I kept it. Yeah, I couldn't believe that you kept it so long. But next time I see you, I want to see more hair growth. So. You need to start greasing more regularly. Yeah, the oil every day. Mm-hmm. I've been doing that. And I was supposed to bring some more for you. I forgot. I forgot to bring you some more oil. I've got some. You don't have enough to grease it as often as you need to. But I feel like with you just do whenever you feel like, or whenever you remember. But you need to be more consistent in greasing your hair regularly. It's 
So is this your first Brit Award? Um, no. You've been there what? before? Yeah. Your first as a manager or? No, it's not for Michaela, it's for my work. Oh, it's for your job? Um, okay. So if you just slightly turn to the right on the chair, so I can show more to the side. Yeah, that's perfect, thanks. Oh, I can see a massive difference in your hair in terms of the hair growth. The hair growth is so good. I'm just gonna talk to the camera now. Hopefully my voice don't trip out like the last time. So guys, uh, Ryan here is about five inches now. So it's about five inches long, which is very good because I think the last time we measured it was four inches. And um, yeah, that was roughly about two months ago, I think, but you know five inches over five a bit over five inches is really good you know as you guys can see his hair is going into two half so easily like it's so easy for me to like brush it up and put it into buns so his hair is really growing and it feels soft and it looks healthy so we're doing something right so with this hairstyle it's it's just um the same as what we did the last time but this time i'm just gonna put a little twist inside of it like a little zigzag twist so the last time i did six stitch braids which is just one two three on this side and three on the other side so when i get to my second part in i'm just gonna make that into a zigzag which is gonna give it a nice look a nice twist because when is your event, sorry? Tomorrow. Yeah, so you've got a big event tomorrow, the Brit Awards, and you want to see him suit and suit look nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need to take out, take out the, the, the way of one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to show nobody out your suit yet. I mean, I'm not going to post this video until Sunday, and today is Friday, so. I'll take some pictures from the Brit Awards and I'll show them how oh, your hairstyle look good in your suit. So the first parting should be right about here. So if you are um, doing this hairstyle on a similar fade as Ryan, then your first parting should be right here where um, the hairline um, goes into a peak right there. So your first parting should be there. And I'm gonna be stitch braiding. So I don't use a lot of gel, as you guys know, and I'm also using my own gel so I'm using my own braiding gel that I made myself. And um, it doesn't make the hair feel hard. It makes the hair feel very soft. And it's just really moisturizing the hair, like giving it a nice pace just to control or tame the frizz. just to control or tame the frizz, but it's not like actually making the hair hard in no sense. It's just nicely moisturizing the hair and taming all the, the little flyaways into your braids. So it's a perfect gel to use when you're braiding and that's why I call it the braiding gel 
because I made it specifically. I made that gel specifically for that purpose. So when you're stitch braiding, your first parting, you want to use a comb or something sharp and take out a very uh, thin area at the front where you're going to start with. And for the rest of the braid, we're going to be using uh, your pinky finger if there's a lot of nail. I don't tend to like make my nails too long. So my nails are about this long. But if you don't have no nails at all, you can always use a tail comb to section out your stitch braid as you go along. So I'm going to start with my first section that I use a comb to section out. And then I'm going to braid that three or four times, or two or three times is good. So we'll go one, two, three. So now I've got three pieces. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So four times to secure that first braid at the front. And then I'm going to start on my right because I'm right-handed. And I'm going to section out to my right and I'm going to land right there in the middle of the braid. And I'm going to join that in and I'm going to go over to my left and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to section out and I'm going to let it land in the middle to join the other piece. And I'm going to braid that two times before I join another stitch braid. So you can continue to con row as normal while you're part, while you're sectioning out. So you can section out, join them, and then join them again. But I prefer to braid the hair one, two times before joining another stitch or before sectioning out another stitch. And the reason for that is I find that with 4C hair textures, it's very hard to see the line when you're trying to section out your stitch braids. And that's because the hair is so thick and kinky. So a lot of people tend to straighten the hair out first before they do their stitch braids so that the lines can be more visible. But I prefer not to do that. So that's why I braid one, two, two times before I section out another piece of stitch. So I got a bit confused talking you guys through this and that's why I don't really talk too much in my tutorials. But I just wanted to explain that to you guys so that you can know what I'm doing with my fingers as I go along because sometimes I braid very fast. So that's what I'm doing with my fingers. I section my first section out with the comb and I braid that three or four times before using my fingernail, my pinky fingernail, to section to the right and section to the left as I go along. But I'm not just joining my sections as normal. I'm not just braiding as normal while I'm joining my sections. I actually braid one or two times. So I leave a gap, like I leave a space. So I braid one or two times before I join each line. So here we go again. That's one, two, three, four, right? So now that first one is secure. And I go one to the left, to the right, one to the left, and those are joined in the middle. And then I go one, two times before I join again, before I section again. So one to the right, stop in the middle. And then one to the left. Stop that in the middle. Then you're gonna braid one, two times before joining your next line. So one to the right, stop that in the middle, 
one to the left, stop that in the middle. Now we're gonna braid it one, two times before joining the next line. And I'm just gonna be repeating this process. So I'm just gonna bring the camera closer so you can see what I'm actually doing here on the side. So this piece I took from the right, I stop it in here in the middle of my braid where I'm farming the corn row, or where the corn is farming itself. And I take another section from the left and you wanna make sure that these are lining up with each other. And you go one, two times. So I'll plait it two times before you join your next. So when you part from the right, and you join it halfway, where the braid is farming itself, and you part again from the left, you wanna make sure that that line is in alignment. So I'm gonna make sure that it's in alignment from the right to the left. So it's a straight line going across. So if I was just braiding as normal while sectioning out the lines to make the stitch braids, my stitch braid wouldn't look so clear and visible, not on this type of hair texture, which is so thick and coarse and has so much kink and curls. You literally have to straighten the hair out for it to look that clear as how it looks right now. So me braiding the hair like this twice before joining my next stitch, that's what makes the lines look so clear on natural hair such as this. And it's a great technique to use, especially for our beginners who are learning how to stitch braid and you find that the lines are not looking as clear or you just have a problem making the lines visible you are probably making it look like stitch braid. It's a great method to use and it's also less painful for the client. So I have another tutorial where I explained more about this on uh, hair which is similar to this but more shorter than this. So if you're dealing with a hair that has a shorter length or a full head of hair, I have a tutorial that goes more into depth about that and how to do it. So I'll put the link in the description box below so you guys can go and watch that afterwards. So this is the result and this is my first braid. You know, as you guys can see, it looks very neat. The stitches are very clear. And I didn't have to straighten the hair to achieve this. And I didn't have to use a lot of gel either, which is very important. I don't wanna to use too much gel, you know. And I do recommend my hair gel. I recommend my braiding gel because it's more organic, it's natural. And as I said, it doesn't make the hair feel hard. It doesn't make the hair go white. It's just a natural moisturizing gel that tames a frizz and that's all you want to do. Or that's all you want to achieve when you're braiding hair. Cause you don't want anything to make the braid look hard after a day or two. Yeah, some people them, they braid the hair with so much gel and it looks so nice and sleek, which is nice for the first day. And then after a couple of days, the customer hair just look really white and hard and it makes the braid look horrible. And then to take that braid out is a nightmare. So we don't want that.
So for my second part in, as I explained to you guys before, I'm gonna do a, a zigzag twist with this hairstyle. So you've seen this hairstyle two times already on Ryan, where we just had the six coming straight back, the three on this side and three on the other side. But this time, I'm gonna do like a little zigzag here instead of bringing it, the line straight. So my next line, So my next line is gonna be around here. So that's in alignment with his eyebrow. So I'm just gonna quickly zigzag this out. So nothing too complicated. Just a nice little simple zigzag part here. So as you guys can see, the zigzag is farming and with the help of my braiding gel, I'm getting these lines really nice and sleek. You know, you guys can see what the gel does. It really lay the hair down nicely. So it's not pacing the hair down, it's just giving it a nice lay down. So it's just laying down the strands nicely until I'm ready to start braiding them. So the reason why I put a bit of um, braiding gel between the parts so each time I part the hair like this I tend to put a little gel because that is helping to tame the hair down at the root so that I can see my parting more clearer so I can see what I'm parting more clearer so the gel is just really taking the hair out of the way it's just laying the hair down out of the way from the root so that we can see what we're parting and it makes the parting more cleaner because I'm able to part it much, much better when it lays the hair down. So if you're interested in trying out my braiding gel, you can visit my website, mygripgame.co.uk and check out my braiding gel. And you don't need to use a lot at all. As you can see, I'm not using a lot. And I'm using it mostly at the roots where I want to get the hair straight. I want to get my parting straight. So I want, I want all this fly away just to come out the way so that my parting can look clean and I can see exactly what I'm doing. So there we go. So that's my second parting, it's a nice, zigzag part in there
looks better. So this is how the hair looks from the top. I'm gonna keep that line straight. So that line in the center is gonna stay straight. So we're only gonna do this little zigzag right here to give the hairstyle a different twist. So I'm going to use the same stitch braid method that I used on the same on, on the first braid. It's going to be the same method. We don't need to um, change anything because the parting is different. It's the same method. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this and to get this straight so that the zigzag line can stay visible. Because some times, you know, you part a zigzag line, but the way that you braid the hair, the line kind of like disappear or kind of look a bit odd. So I'm going to show you guys how to keep this line as visible and as straight and as zigzag as we parted it, as I parted it. So guys, just bear with me and my explanation because I don't usually like talk live through the cam. I don't usually talk live to the tutorial while I'm doing it. I usually like go back and voice it over because sometimes I don't know the right words to use to explain to you guys what I'm doing. But this time I thought, why not give it a go, give it a try, see if I can explain to you guys as I'm doing it, instead of voicing it back over. So the same thing we did before with the first braid where I section out um, my first part with the comb first, and then I dive in and I take my, my three sections to begin my braid, and I go one, two, three, four, to secure it. And then I start by parting from the right and landing exactly in the middle where the braid is gonna be. And then I part from the left and I land back in the middle where the braid is gonna be. And then I go one, two times before I section again. So, because obviously I can see the line is going zigzag, I'm just gonna go with that line as I'm sectioning out from the right and from the left. And I'm still going one, two, three before I join my next braid. But obviously, to, to, to make this zigzag here visible, I have to go with the zigzag line. So, instead of going straight, straight with my parting, I'm just gonna go where the zigzag is. So I can see this line is going up and it's coming back down like um, a, a, a triangle shape. So I'm gonna part on this side to keep that anchor there straight. So instead of like digging through it straight, I'm just gonna part on the right side of it, like just to keep that anchor there. So I do hope I'm explaining to you guys well, but if you feel like you're not understanding or I'm off key as to what I'm doing, so if you feel like what I'm explaining is not what I'm doing, just take off the volume, take off the sound of the video and just watch what I'm doing. So 
you can see the zigzag line is very, very clear and my braid is going straight. So it's one, two, and then one, two. One to the right, land in the middle, one to the left, land in the middle, and then we'll go one, two. So we're braiding two times before making another part. So no matter how the hair is parted, always just try to keep the braid straight. Because this is not a zigzag braid, it's just a zigzag part braid. So the sectioning is a zigzag shape, so we're not going to braid the hair zigzag. We're braiding the hair straight, it's just the parting that should remain in a zigzag pattern. So just go with the course, keep your braids straight. And while you're, while you're farming the stitch from the right where the zigzag is, just go with the, the line. Go with the formation of the line to make sure that the zigzag line is not being covered or your braid is not going in a different direction apart from going straight backwards. So let me bring this camera closer because as I get to another anchor point, I'm going to show you exactly what I do to keep my zigzag, or prevent my zigzag from messing up. So here I am at another anchor point and I'm just going to go around it and I'm going to make my stitch there. So instead of parting it up there in the anchor, you can if you want, but I'll prefer to go around it so that I don't mess up my anchor so when i part around it on this side then i can now pull this piece in the middle and i can pull it very tightly into my braid to keep the shape so you don't want to braid it here too tight but in terms of like um bringing the hair from the parting into the middle of the braid you want to make sure that it's firm and it's not too loose and it doesn't look too um um, saggy like it's lifting up or it's, it's going in different directions. You want to make it straight and firm. So make sure that you're using your finger to pull that into the middle and make sure that it's straight. And that's what's going to keep the shape. That's another anchor point there. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm going around it. And I'm pulling that ear in to make sure that it's firm. And I'm not losing my zigzag shape. I wanna make sure that that's firm.
And as you come to the end, you don't have to just, you don't have to keep like using your finger to part because you're at the end. So just spread normally at the end to make sure that your cake, your, 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 your plait looks nice and neat going down to the end. You don't have to just, you don't have to keep, you don't have to keep forcing the stitch once you get to the end there. So there we go, guys. Nice, firm zigzag part. The zigzag is clear. You can see the stitches are firm and nice going down into the braid. And the braid itself is straight. So we're not changing much in terms of um, we're not changing much in terms of um, where the braid is going, how straight the braid, braid is. So we're not um, changing much in terms of the straightness of the braid. It's just the line that we're changing here. So just giving that nice like a zigzag twist to the hairstyle. So the, the cornrows are in the same position as they were before when we did the six braid. They're in the same position, but now we have a little zigzag twist and that didn't really change the position of the braids much. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna do the same thing that I did here on the other side and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys about how I'm gonna um, do the last two at the top to keep the shape of the braids. So I'm leaving the two at the top for last to make sure that both braids are equal in the middle because sometimes you do three on this side and then you go over to the other half and you do another three and that's when you realize that the hair wasn't even parted properly in half. So it's best to leave those two at the top for last. So what I did over here, I'm just gonna do it over here quickly and I'll come back to the top there. So right.
gear. Pull a style, miss. Grip it, check it, grip. Uh, uh, catch your style, where the maddie shit is sick. Uh, uh, Coming like God, this the fingertip still. Boss a key and roll here, shot still a grip. Uh, You know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out insane Here put a shot still catch it and you feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it details Style sick you know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out insane Here put a shot still catch it and you feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it details Check it details Look how the key and roll need grip game Look how the part in straight grip game Check your style insane where you know a grip game Me a tell you that Make you a fight, man, can book your slot quick If you hear two shots, you will make it grow quick Get a year treatment for your good price fit I'm all alive Style sick, you know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out insane Here put a shot, still catch it and no feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it detail Style sick, you know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out insane Here put a shot, still catch it and no feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it detail Treatment for a good price. good price So sick with the grip, yes it we nice Key and roll well neat, never too tight she. Grip game around the place, nah I'm all alive nah, Style I'm tough, my jade a rich. rich Grip game and your ear dresser then switch It don't matter if it your shot, bro, she got grip Ay. Pay the YouTube channel a visit yeah. Style sick, you know a grip game grip Check your style and the pattern out insane Ear could a shot, still catch it and no feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it detail Me a check it detail you know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out with insane Here put a shot still catch it and no feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it DT Me a beg you check it DT Me a beg you check it DT Grip game Grip game From you know a grip game Me a tell you that
So guys, we're back. And as you can see, I did the same thing on the right side that I did on the left side. So now I just need to get this line straight and equal going down into the center. So hold your head down, Ryan. So as you can see, the line is already there. So I wanna make sure that both sides are equal so that when I go down into the center there, it looks equal on both sides. So, so far, the line is looking even. So I'm just gonna straighten the line out. So this basically means that I did a really, really good job when I sectioned the hair in two half. I did a really, really good, good job by parting the hair in two half. So I'm just gonna straighten this line because I feel like it's already straight. It's already even, I should say. So I'm just gonna straighten the line, clean it up a bit. So hold your head down, Ryan. And as I'm parting, as I'm going down, I'm making sure that both sides are even. So I'm just gonna come around the front and look. Yes, so that looks even to me. I'm going to start on my left side. And just cut that hair away. So with these two at the top, um, it's quite tricky because we're going to have to braid more over to where the center of the parting is just to make sure that this triangle shape is very, very, this, this zigzag shape is very, very visible there. So we're gonna be braiding the hair more over this side instead of going straight down in the center. And I can see Ryan is looking in the camera deep like, he doesn't want me to mess up his hairstyle <laughs> for his event. You want to make sure this hairstyle is perfect. Yeah, I'm sure you will like it in the end. My battery dying. Mm, for a charger? Um, not now. I think I'll be able to finish this video first. Uh, I've got a long one if you need it. Okay. I wonder, how much did you say, 10%? 20. Okay, 20 is all right for now. So, let me try and finish these two very quickly and then I'll put my phone to charge. Can you see the zigzag line? You're mm -hmm. gonna see it more when the braids yeah, finish. So we're gonna be braiding the hair more over 
to the right side so our um braid is gonna land more in the center of the head than in the center of the sectioning let's just tame the hair So here we are. So we're following the same technique as before by taking a little piece out first with the comb. And then now I'm gonna section in three to begin my plait. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And then now that's secured, I'm gonna start by parting from my right hand side and landing that not so much in the center, but I'm trying to lean more over to the center of my parting instead of the center of the section that I'm braiding. So I'm leaning more over to this side so that my braid is going to be more in the middle of the parting, of the center parting. So my braid is going to be more over here then over to my left. And hold your head down, Ryan, so that they can see what I'm doing. So I'm trying to braid more over to the center of the head. And this is because if I go straight down into the row that I've sectioned out to be cornrowed, if I go down in the center of that section, I'm going to braid over my zigzag line. So I have to keep it more over to here. So that this gap can be more wider. So as I braid downwards, I'm really trying to bring my braid over this side. Yeah, so it's more in the center there. Because if I go straight down like this, as you can see, some of my zigzag parting would have been covered. So it wouldn't be so clear as it's looking clear right now. So these two last braids that I'm doing are a bit tricky because I'm positioning them straight in the center of the head. So you're going to your barber today, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure you send me some pictures so I can see the final product. Mm -hmm. And I know this is gonna look wicked. It's gonna look wicked in that suit for your wear. So it's almost like the same 
zigzag six braids that you always have but with that nice zigzag twist at the top lovely so turn your head around wow Even your hang time. Your hang time is so long now. <laughs> nice. All right. There's a lot of sun coming from the window now. So guys, I'm going to do the same thing that I just did with this braid here on my left. I'm going to do it the same thing on the right. So while I'm braiding, I'm just going to be positioning it more over into the center here instead of bringing it down the center of the section that I'm braiding. Because you see, you see, so this here now that I'm holding is actually going down into the center. So as you can see, most of the zigzag parting has disappeared so if i braid it over onto that side then that's when you'll see um, the zigzag line more better and clearer Ryan, the way that you're looking up, mm -hmm. it's like you can't wait for it to finish. <laughs> <laughs> you can't wait to just run in the mirror and say, oh, what did this girl do to my mm. hair? I've got a big event tomorrow. So guys, this was actually my idea because after I saw the suit that he's wearing, you know, and obviously I know that he loves stitch braids and he just wanted to do those six stitch braids again that he usually gets. But I thought, um, we could do something a little bit different with a nice little twist that will look so much better in that suit at the Brit Awards tomorrow. So I know that Ryan is excited. I know that you're very excited to go in the mirror and look at the hairstyle. But I never disappoint you before. Mm -hmm. See? Say it out loud, man. I never disappointed you before. <laughs> you said it down in the back of your throat. So don't be <laughs> hard to hear what you say. <laughs> it's like you're afraid to say it. <laughs> no, it's the um, tender head. Oh, you're feeling tender headed. Mm. Oh. I'm fighting for my life inside. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> they need to create products yeah, for tender Yeah, because you're, you're trying. Well, I'm going to research I realize more. it's definitely on the right side more than it is on the I'm going to research more, side. but to be honest, I've never met anyone so tender edited. Everyone always says that. Everyone says that to I, has, I have so much male clients. Everyone and some of them, is like their first time that. getting braids. And they're like, oh, it's all right. And with my clients, I don't even blow dry their hair that much. Only if I have to wash the hair, then I'll blow dry it. So most of their hair is like kinky and I just like comb it out with the afro pick before I braid it. I don't behave like this. I think it's a mental thing. Yeah. So like me, like you feeling the strands pulling yeah, in but, your head just yeah. makes you wanna. But even, I think it's, I don't know, I need to figure out what it is. Well, I'm gonna research more into it and see what we can mix up for your hair to help the tenderness. All right, so hold your head down a bit more.
So I've had a lot of reaction from this hairstyle on my Instagram. I have another tutorial of it on YouTube as well, actually, of the same hairstyle, but the person's hair was much longer. So when I do it on shorter hair, I get a lot of reaction because people are like, how did you part that on short hair like that? It's just so nice and simple and unique and at the same time. get a few clients from last week asking for this very cold. hairstyle cold cold. Really? cold cold yeah lip cold cold yeah <laughs> cold sick i'm glad you like it <laughs> oh yeah that definitely goes into the outfit tomorrow boy yeah So I'm just gonna put a bit of the hair growth oil in the scalp and you need to use this more frequently. And if you feel like your hair is a bit dry, you can just like add more like castor oil or coconut oil or something if you feel like your hair is dry. Mm. But try and use the hair growth oil more often. For the whole month, my hair was not dry. Yeah, because you, you, you shouldn't have this. I didn't even, I didn't even itch. This small bottle was only meant to last a couple of weeks and you still got oh, it. Really? Yeah, you're not using it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, you hair, I, don't, I don't get like um, itchy, I don't get irritated. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, okay. Because before, when people do it, in the two weeks, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, okay. But so the product that. is working. Mm -hmm. I use it my hands. <laughs> Or maybe the gel, I don't know, whatever the gel, gel it does yeah, because gel is organic, me. as I said, I don't put any ingredients in the gel just to make the hair feel hard. Because normally my hair is very irritable. Yeah, so the gel is very moisturizing, so that could be the reason why you don't itch or feel any dryness. So this is your favorite part, mm -hmm. <laughs> the mousse, your favorite mousse. Style, miss, group, check it, group. Uh, uh, get your style, where the maddie shit is sick. Uh, uh, come on, like God, this the fingertip still. Boss, a key and roll here, shots still a group. Uh. Great game. Style sick, you know, a group game. Check your style and the pattern out insane. Here, put a shot still, catch it, then I feel pain. Hey, me, I beg you, check it, details. Check it details. Style sick, you know, a group game. Check your style and the pattern out insane. Oh, here, put a shot still, catch it, then I feel pain. No, yeah. Hey, me, I beg you, check it, details. Check it, details. Yeah, look how the key and roll need. Grip, yeah. Look how the parting straight. Grip, yeah. Check your style insane, where you know a grip game. Yeah. Me, I tell you that. Style tough, is style sick. Make your appointment and book your slot quick. If you hear too short, you will make it grow quick. Get a year treatment for your good price fit. Time and a lot. You know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out insane Here put a shot still catch it and I feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it details Me a beg you check it details If you know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out insane Here put a shot still catch it and I feel pain Hey, me a beg you check it details Check it details Get a hair treatment for a good price So sick with the grip, yeah she do it nice Key and roll well neat, never too tight Grip game around the place, nah I'm all alive Dresser then switch It don't matter if it your shot bro She got grip Hey, Pay the YouTube channel a visit yeah. Style sick you know a grip game Check your style and the pattern out insane Here put a shot still catch
get it, then I feel pain. Hey, me, I beg you, check it, DT. I beg you, check it, D style. Sick, you know, I grip game. Check your style and the pattern, now it's insane. Here, could I shot still, get it, then I feel pain. Hey, me, I beg you, check it, DT. I beg you, check it, DT. Me, I beg you, check it, DT.